in the city of Calgary, Matt Dumba, defenseman from the Minnesota Wild, joining us, also a member of the Hockey Diversity Alliance. Matt, welcome to the show. How are things, man? How are you holding up? Yeah, doing good, guys. Thanks for having me. Of course. Of course. Uh, we wanted to learn a little bit more about, about what you guys are doing with the Hockey Diversity Alliance. And I, I heard Wardo talking yesterday uh, on Hockey Central, and it sounds like this is something that's been in the works for a while. Is that right? Yeah, I think uh, there's a there's a group of us that were talking since November, and then it, it kind of just dwindled down to um, to this crew talking together. Um, major basically just because um, at one point or another we've all played together or are friends, so um, it's nice to have a close knit group like that. And um, but like as of these last two weeks, we've been uh, we've been talking every day or every other day for um hours on hand so um we've got a lot we want to share with uh with the world and with the hockey community and um you know yesterday was just an announcement so um there's gonna there's gonna be big things to come from this matt dumb with minnesota wild here on tim and said what were you were you anticipating the reaction to the news yesterday matt what did, did part of the reaction surprise you how would you how would you characterize it um, you know, looking at, looking back at it last night, um, you know, we're, we're pumped uh, about the support, um, that people were showing for us. Um, it was a little bit overwhelming. My, uh, my Twitter and my Instagram, uh, were just going nuts. Um, uh, there's people, people from everywhere reaching out, um, uh, saying that they want to be involved and, um, they want to, uh, they want to have a hand in this. So. Um, the more the merrier this thing is, uh, we're, we're a group of, uh, of guys who want to, uh, include everyone and kind of break down these racial barriers and just kind of er eradicate, uh, racism altogether in our game. So, um, the more people who are on board with that and support, um, our message and what we're trying to do, um, you know, that's just, that's just going to, uh, that's just going to create what we, we, what we all believe is, um, you know, completely removing racism for a game for generations to come. And um, that's one of our biggest goals. Matt Dumba joining us here on Tim and Sid. Uh, so so then how do we start? How do we take the steps yeah. together? We're, we're here for you. What are, what are the first couple steps that you guys kind of want to take in, in implementing this and, and getting it out there to, to the masses? So within the next couple of days, um, you know, we're going to have Twitter, Instagram, uh, kind of giving people the updates on what's going on with our group, um, with the Alliance, um, you know, so more people can get involved. Um, we are, we've got a fiscal sponsor that will come out and we're going to be a nonprofit, um, nonprofit charity. And we're just looking to really start at grassroots, grassroots hockey, um, and just promote diversity um, from there, and I think everyone can agree that that's where it's that's where it starts. That's where my first incident with racism. That's where everyone that I've talked to first experience that is in minor hockey. So, reaching out to those um, associations, you know, um, minor hockey leagues, you know, across Canada, North America, to kind of commit to. Um, somewhat of a, a code of conduct and hold hold everyone accountable. Um, and then it's and then there's a bunch of different things we're doing. Uh, just trying to make the game more accessible um, from an economic standpoint, and just try to reach and grow our game uh, as much as we can. Um, so I guess that I guess that's a, a little piece of it. I don't know yeah. if I there anything else. No, you know what? I'm so glad that you mentioned minor hockey. Yeah. And and listen, I grew up in the rinks among other athletic facilities. And it's it's one thing to bring the idea to the NHL. And we all know that there's cameras around NHL games and people are a lot more careful and polished. And But to, to take it to minor hockey where it's probably needed more, it, at least in my experience, it's probably needed more than it is at the NHL level. H how do we how do we do that, Matt? Like, I, I'm so glad that's part of it. But do we know how we get into those? And and I'm not just talking major cities. I'm talking about all across Canada and the world. Um, 
yeah and that's that's awesome and that's that's what we're exactly trying to do is try to get into those things and one thing i think um will help us is you know hopefully working with the league um to implement because you know every little every little kid who's playing hockey has a favorite hockey player or someone they look up to so getting more guys involved um we're just not only minorities but you know the the McDavid, Sidney Crosby's, um, Austin Matthews, um, really everyone across the board, trying to get them um, on board with our message because I know those, I know a lot of those guys, and I've just seen the Elpor uh, guys, um, guys supporting us. Um, you know, guys are going to be guys are going to be committed to that, and the more faces we have towards that more guys as working as ambassadors um for the for the hda um uh, i think that's just that's just going to go on to you know further yeah. thing as or take the thing as far as we possibly can so okay. to reach all those communities we got you know i got teammates in europe you know i got teammates all across canada all across the u.s so it's you know, putting putting recognizable faces out there, guys who want to who want to lead in their communities, and you just start uh, working from there, uh, one community at a time. And um, I'm sure it's gonna. Uh, I hope. I hope. Just the way I'm thinking, I hope it catches on like wildfire. Matt Dumba of the Minnesota Wild and member of the Hockey Diversity Alliance here on Tim and Sid. Matt, uh, Timmy and I have been talking a lot of Colin Kaepernick this show. Uh, only one of us of, of of the three in the conversation has actually spoken to Kaepernick in the last week and a half, and I believe it's you. Um, did he did he show up on a Zoom call or, or, or a call that the Hockey Diversity Alliance had? How did that happen? What was that like? Just kind of just walk me through it. Yeah, um, Cap came on a couple of the Zoom calls. Um, one was like a two hour long call, and he was there's points where I was like, is, is this guy still here? <laughs> and then, he, and then, he, and then he'd start talking and guys would just in dead silence. Like everyone's listening and just, uh, his, his just wisdom and, um, just support of us really, um, was just so powerful. Even right now talking about it, it's giving me chills. Um, man of this stature, um, seeing what this guy's done over the last five years, um, for for the people, the injustice, the police brutality. Um, you know, he's been at the forefront of it. So to have him in a conversation, I know all of us were um, a little bit taken away. Um, but it, it was really cool to just see his insight um, and kind of just advice that he was giving us and uh, the support he's shown. And he said he even want he wants to continue to show that. So. Um, Hopefully we'll hear from Cap uh, a little bit more down the road, too. That's how much funny. hockey... Sorry, Timmy, go ahead. Go, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to ask, how much hockey did he know? Like, what were the conversations like about the game itself? Like, uh, how, how up to speed was he? Um, <laughs> well, he knew it was, it was mostly white dudes. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. But, uh, um, no, we didn't really talk too much hockey. Uh, it was kind of about us, our vision. Um, and he's just a big supporter of it, you know, staying unified and, you know, not, not, not thinking small minded or, or staying with inside the box, you know, he, you know, everything that he's done, he's gone beyond and be um, above and beyond. And, you know, for us, I think we're just scratching the surface, um, right now. And, you know, we're going to, we're going to dive into this and see how far this thing or how big this thing can uh, really get. So um, that was kind of his message, and it definitely uh, resonated with all of us, and kind of even yeah pushed us even more to uh, to get the uh, HDA out there and um, get more people on board. Uh, last one from me, Matt. And this this is kind of the conversation when Colin Kaepernick took a knee in peaceful protest. Um, he took a ton of heat at that time. And even Keem Alu, when he came out with, with his story about what he went through in the game, took a lot of heat. 
have you noticed a difference in people's reactions to you wanting to bring this to the surface from four years ago when Cap did it and even four months ago when Akeem had the courage to come forward? Yeah, I think those guys for sure have broken down some barriers for us. Um, you know, these these conversations, these this topic, everything around it, um, it, it, it it's not the most comfortable at times. And change change isn't comfortable, you know. But that's what we're striving for um, is not only changing our game, but changing society as a whole. So people people on both ends of it, of me and maybe the more ignorant person or um, someone who doesn't know as much, I I think we all just have to um, be acceptance of where people are in this and, you know, just all try to grow and learn together. Um, We all are learning and growing every day as individuals. So, um, you know, these conversations that I've had with, some of my closest friends, like conversations I've never had before, never even like dove into. And, you know, there's, there's been tears, there's been, you know, hugs, smiles, laughs, like thinking back on, um, all these times, um, it's crazy. Um, so I think just having just us even talking about it right now is just promoting more people to talk about this, um, speak their mind, speak what they've gone through, and just so everyone can see it through a different perspective. Because um, when you see all those perspectives, that's when you can really sit back and form your own form your own opinion and your own views. And, and that's what we're trying to change right now. Matt Dumbo of the Minnesota Wild here on Tim and Sid. I was going to, before you, before you said what you said towards the end of that answer, Matt, I was going to ask you, because I remember going back to the Bill Peters story with Akeem, and you didn't see the reaction from the hockey community, especially early in that story. And I won't really forget that. Um, this has been different. And I was going to ask you, my concern on air, and I've said this on air, Matt, like I've seen people on social media, I've seen all the statements. My concern is I hope this is uh, a movement other than a moment, or I hope people aren't just doing things on social media and saying things on social media because they think it's the cool thing to say. Forgive me for phrasing that way, but I have no other way to phrase it. The, what, what you just said at the end of that last answer, though, is it, it, it blows away that, that thought. Because, I mean, uh, it sounds like there have been real emotional conversations you've had with people. And you do believe this is a movement rather than a moment. Uh, man, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I shared some tears with one of my best friends, um, Dylan Hetherington, um, this morning. We're working out. And he said, I don't know at what point in time that I might have said something or said something and trying to, you know, little kids, you're trying to be cool. You're trying to fit in on a team. Guys saying stuff. He's like, I don't know, but I know there's at some point I may have crossed the line. I just want to know I'm not going to do, I will not do that again. And I'm here for you. I'm here for you, brother. I love you. He said this to me at the end of our work. I just like, stop me. Music was on. I'm gassed for my sets. And he said this to me, I was like, like, if I, if I'm having conversations like that, I know other people are. And, um, you know, that's, that's what really, that's what really touches me because, um, yeah, people, people can be putting out stuff and, you know, not holding, um, not holding up their end of the bargain. Whereas I think if more and more people get involved and get talking about this, you know, you have that, you have that obligation. And that's something that I put in my statement when I said it is, yes, I was, I've been silent through a lot of this yet. I I won't be silent no more. I won't, you know, I'm going to work tirelessly to, to do what I believe in to support, um, to support these social injustice, um, you know, to eradicate racism in our game, um, to help our youth and, Learn, help our youth um, learn and you know be be great people because um, that's what we want to that's what we want to breed and I think the HD, HDA uh, I think all all the guys would say the same so um, we're all in this together man 
I yeah, mean, uh, absolutely. It's been, uh, it's been a crazy ride right now, but um, through this month from now, I'll talk to you guys again. Uh, I won't let you forget, um, you know, and, and that's what it is, holding each other accountable uh, as well. So um, I hope I hope we don't forget. I hope this everything doesn't just blow over like it has in, has in years past, and then there's only one or two guys still carrying the, carrying the flag like cap, you know. It takes, it's going to take a lot more for us to make a real, real change, real commitment, you know? Well, you said at the start of this, and I wrote it down, uh, let's start sharing. We're here for you. Anytime that you want to share, uh, we are human beings. We are trying to contribute to the betterment of our society and get to equality. And there is, it is never wrong to do what's right. So if you need us, we're here. Okay. Appreciate you guys. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Be well, Matt. Take care, man.